Black Earth Minerals is a company that represents value to current and future investors by progressing in parallel two opportunities, different in terms of location and development stage, but both are focused on critical commodities. As this slide states, we are both an explorer and developer, and over the last 12 months, Black Earth has also been progressing the potential downstream processing of high quality graphite flake to produce high value products for direct sale into the various graphite markets. Many people will be familiar with our flagship Maneri graphite project located in southern, southern Madagascar, which is due to complete its BFS next year. Our other key asset is the Donnelly River Nickel Copper PGE prospect, located in West Australia, some 240 kilometres south of Perth, where we have identified a number of key target areas and we will be following these up with further geochem and geophysical activities in the very near future. With a market cap of around 7 million Australian dollars, the company also has only 150 million shares on issue so leverage in respect to our share price remains very attractive. This slide shows our board and management. It's very lean, which is one of the reasons we've been able to progress the company in two and a half years from first drill hole to BFS for under 7 million Australian dollars. But it's also a great blend of the necessary skills, knowledge and experience to be able to profitably deliver successful projects in Africa and beyond. It's a critical commodity for a reason. As the European Union states, from a consumer's perspective, achieving resource security requires action to diversify, diversify supply from both primary and secondary sources, reduce dependencies and improve resource efficiency and circularity, including sustainable product design. From the US perspective, it needs the stuff as a future energy requirement, and it currently produces zero. And then there's China, with its creation of China Min Metals Graphite just over a year ago. Based on extensive metallurgical test work, this represents our product breakdown. Product is a key differentiator between graphite projects. It has the potential to significantly influence revenue and ultimately determines the project development strategy. In our case, we are best described as a coarse flake uh, producer as demonstrated by both our flake size distribution and our anticipated profit margin. The outlook, outlook for graphite over the next 10 years looks very attractive with an anticipated deficit in 2024, as well as ex exponential growth for coarse material expected over the next decade. So with that in mind, we've been working with end users prior to finalising our flow sheet to ensure we can, on a continuous basis, meet customer specifications. It has also permitted us to investigate with a high degree of confidence the potential to downstream process our concentrate into value added products, where not only greater revenue can be realised for Black Earth shareholders, but also meet the growing appetite for specific graphite related products. This slide provides an overview of our Maneri project. Low strip ratio, in fact, 0.9 to one for the life of mine, with a ratio of just 0.3 to one for the first critical three to four years. Simple mining with feed material available immediately from surface. Processing is only 500,000 tonne per annum, treating soft and low abrasive material. Products, aiming to produce around 30,000 tonnes per annum. This will make us a material global producer. You can see on the bottom right of this slide, the potential revenue that can be generated from downstream processing coarse flake materials. Thus our interest in pursuing this in our own right. We should have more to report on this in coming months. As shown on this slide is the fact that we recently signed a binding MOU with RHI Magnesita, a tier one global refractory producer listed on the London Exchange. The MOU covers the length of contract, with, which is significant, commercial structure, and the agreement to supply Maneri product to any one of their refractory processing facilities worldwide. 
From a product perspective, our key differentiator is not only the quantum and quality of course material being produced, but the fact that we have had extensive positive test work und undertaken by independent laboratories and have had samples from all three key product lines deemed qualified by tier one end users. This slide highlights a number of key aspects about the Paneri project. Firstly, it's both technically and financially robust. The project sits within a graphite district as the exploration target demonstrates. Again, a key differentiator for us is the fact that our indicated resource sits within a 40 year mining lease already granted to Black Earth. In coming months, Black Earth will undertake exploration in the northwest of the, of the project for the purposes of increasing the fee grade in the early years to further improve the project financials. Just a 1% increase in fee grade has the potential to improve the project's MPV from 103 million US dollars to 155 and the IRR from 42 to 55%. This slide shows the 35 large graphite outcropping areas to the right of the slide and the area planned to be drilled to the left, which has the potential to increase the grade just uh, by not just 1%, but as much as 3 to 5%. Our initial strategy was to undertake and understand what we have, what we're capable of producing, and to tie those two elements into where the graphite market is heading. And we've done that. Our next strategic phase is to complete our BFS and deliver our product into a number of downstream processing options, which should result in a long-term sustainable business, working with others, and based on recent conversations, we're looking into entering into win-win situations by potentially partnering with others at any levels of development, equity, toll treatment, et cetera. From an activity point of view, one of our key, ta key tasks is to complete our large scale pilot work, which ultimately will provide us with final process design criteria, equipment sizing, power draws, et cetera, as well as see us produce effectively product tonnage for finalizing both offtake arrangements and downstream processing test work. This was delayed somewhat because of COVID, but should recommence shortly. Geopolitical risks have and has and always will have a significant bearing on any mining development and graphite's no exception. We believe that Madagascar is a prime location to ultimately be producing graphite from, reinforced by the latest World Risk Report published in recent weeks by the Mining Journal. And now Donnelly River. Donnelly River has been deemed by Black Earth to be exceptional exploration play. Ideally located in West Australia's southwest and sandwiched between Chalice and Venture Minerals tenements, this project has already demonstrated high prospectivity for nickel, copper and PGEs. As the diagram shows, the Donnelly River prospect lies between two key prospects, Thor to the west and Odin to the east. The ultramafix as identified in the picture to the right clearly demonstrates an area of interest extending into what is our project area. In Chalice's most recent annual report, they refer to the Thor prospect as a Julemar lookalike, further encouragement that we're in the right address. The infield exploration work undertaken to date has been geochemical sampling around known historic base metal and PG anomalies. This map uh, was released to the market recently and while we're awaiting assay results, our, ge our geologists have identified the presence of ultramafic rocks at surface, further encouragement about the prospectivity of the area. The results should be available to us shortly. This slide outlines our program for Donnelly River, fairly straightforward and self-explanatory. No doubt news flow to follow fairly shortly and over the next few months. And speaking of news flow, over the next three to four months, we will continue to inform the market of BFS related activities associated with the Maneri project. Our exploration works at both Maneri and our Australian Donnelly River pro projects, as well as our moves into downstream processing. There's been much achieved over the last four to six months behind the scenes, 
actions we plan to bring to fruition in coming months. And with that, I thank you for your interest in Black Earth, and please feel free to contact me at any time. Thank you.